here, the guitarist, <laughs> learning the songs. I really appreciate it. Henrik Lomholt. <laughs> Kim, Kim Holt. Without Kim and Pilo, I wouldn't be here tonight. So uh, I hope we can do it again next year. I see they bring the warm weather. So thanks to Jonathan Spottiswood, one of the best songwriters in the world. You get to hear him tonight. You'll get to hear him plenty other times. I hope. Maybe with me too. I would love that. Jonathan, are you still here? because he has to catch a plane. Uh, SAS. <laughs> Ireland. Uh, they're flying here. I don't think SAS Italy is flying. <laughs> and Julia Nuti, who I wouldn't be half the band without. <laughs> Thanks to Charlotte for having me at this beautiful place, and I hope to see you again. Free records for sale out there. I'll come out and sign them or uh, do whatever you want with them. Thanks. So I'll see you. <laughs> In my recurring dream, we have a daughter with a boyfriend, with a mustache, with a taste for younger women. Like our daughter, he has this little habit. When he tries to make a point, he points his finger. Which, if it had not been eaten by a table saw when he was 23, would really help to emphasize his point. Instead, we are distracted by the sight of the missing joint, and no one hears a word he says in my recurring dream. In my recurring dream, I give a man a $20 bill, cause he likes Smokey Robinson and lives on the street, but still will never confuse the temptations with the miracles when he walks in the grocery and he hears them on the radio and I'm sad he's on the street but glad he can feel the thrill when tracks of my tears comes on to that blueberry hill so here is my twenty dollar bill and my recurring dream my recurring dream this one comes too often there's a plane filled with people with carry-on coffins and I don't know all the rules regarding carnival, but I suspect that when the good outweighs the bad, some automatic self-protection kick in, but here you got this plane and as it starts to rise, I can see the panic in every pair of eyes, the silent voices calling in slow motion, trapped, falling and falling. In my recurring dream, I was 11 when it started. I'm standing in my backyard shooting arrows at a target while inside the house my mother, now remarried, since last night sometime the death of my dad. She leans over the couch where he's still lying to kiss him. And it's not that we are ghoulish, it's just that we would miss him. So we leave him there a little while longer. And a good thing to our guess, cause dying's made him stronger. Three days later he gets up to watch the news. And the news is often bad, and the news is often sad. I know a lot of us are happier when we're sad. The sun is straight overhead. In my recurring dream, I'm working with my brother. We are drawbridge operators and cannot see each other as we pull the ropes that raise the road. 
this cloud above me it suddenly explodes into a million little lullabies that fall into my ears they steal my attention but they take away my fears so when i slip off the road and fall through the icy waves i realize it's not jesus it's music that saves and the fish swim by me with faces like goats i sing into the darkness but i still hear all the notes in my current dream i'm saying what i feel like to anyone i feel like and i don't care what they think of me to any girl i feel like and i, I don't care if she'll sleep with me i like what i feel like i like who i've come to be and i'm locked into the moment i love with all my might i'm giving all i have i'm fearless of the night i'm trying to be hopeful not holding so tight, but I'm not giving up the fight. I'm not giving up the, not giving up, not giving up the fight.